you this important message. The wifey has laid down the gauntlet and did wifey edition. And she thinks that wifey edition is better than my edition of Room by the Hour. So we have a challenge going based on hours of watch time, <laughs> comments, <laughs> and subscribers on each video for one week. We're going to metric it. Two out of three gets the win. The other one is going to get to lay in a bathtub while the other one dumps ice in them and they got to, or on them, and they got to stay in it for like a minute. So if you want her to win, go ahead and keep watching the video again and again and again and comment, real comments, not dots, but real comments and subscribe to her video. But if you want me to win, then watch my video over and over and over and over again and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and comments because the most are going to win. I need two out of three to win. I do not want to get in the ice bucket. I'm already tired. This run just started. But uh, yeah, so I'm in a single and I'm actually in a single truck and I'm driving from Little Rock to San Francisco. So yeah, we're going to see some generals on the way. Ain't that beautiful? Well, how about the great Super 8 off the side of the road in Arkansas? It's going to be great. I already checked in. I'm actually surprised. But first, this is really uphill. Yep, that's where we're going. Got my wall blouse in. I'm going to get ran over by this truck. Now i got to walk all the way back down this hill. Like, to give you an idea of the green, I am probably above the interstate by 20 feet. So the pool area is heated and you have a hot breakfast bar in there and then the laundry room is right here, but I don't think there's a hot tub. No, there's not. This is kind of nice. Set out here and chill. All right. So we got us a king suite. King bed, nice little couch area. I don't know what that is, but I'm not sitting on it. Got a nice little sink area over here. You got a microwave and then a fridge. Microwave works. Fridge works. TV works. Hey, oh, that's kind of comfortable. I could, this is a room that you could actually kind of chill and hang out with friends and all that good kind of stuff. I mean, look at the room. Lots going on. Coffee and coffee pot right here. Now this shower. This is pretty awesome. Shampoo and conditioner is right here. And then toilet towels. Not bad. But I like this thing. Effortlessly. Oh, you got a deal for the fan. Hey, we're gonna try them up. Moisturizer and hand soap body wash. And then tiny mirror. And I probably need a shave. Throw these pants away. That light does work, I just didn't have it on. And for the, oh, it's so thin. That could be thicker. Oh, oh it's soft. This is pillow soft. Ironing ironing board. Doesn't look horrible. This deal though, I'm glad that's locked. This room might be okay, but I done seen some of the other people staying here and I'm not going, yeah, no. I'm not hanging out. I'm going to sleep. I'll see y'all like six hours. You know, I really just don't want to get up this morning, but oh well, gonna, I'm awake. <laughs> so it's about three o'clock. And I need to get moving because I plan to leave by now. So, yeah, yeah. See you in a sec. I thought I was going to skip this part. Listen, towels were great. The shower was awesome. Like, yeah, I feel like this room is like, it's probably the nicest Super 8 I've ever stayed in. Truly. It's actually really good. Um, it was $85 a night, oh, so. 
Fun fact, did you know back in a way, way long time ago, these actually did have dye in them? And whenever you pulled that, it would break and get on your hands. They did that for nuisance alarms, but then they found out that people didn't want to pull it and people still don't want to pull it. So they made a big mistake that actually has cost, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of lives. Hey, it's so peaceful out here. It's 3.30 in the morning. Uh, it's actually it's a motel slash hotel. And uh, they got a hotel on the upside, but motel on the bottom. I'd stay here again, for sure. Hey, so uh, it's going to be a little late, but I just want to say happy birthday, Keith. So thanks for all the comments, man. I really do appreciate it. You're one of the ones that keeps me doing this. Groom, Texas, where you have a leaning water tower and a cross. And on the other side of town, you have a giant cross that actually rotates. When I say giant, I mean giant, because that's like a two-story building there. Okay, church, but still. But like, if you actually go up there, it's a very ominous feeling place. Like, you're very humble while you're there. Well, you can't see it, but that guy over there, yeah, he dropped his trailer and he on the access road. I'm trying to get fuel right now, but the uh, I used my flap and it's giving me some eggs. So, I figure I'll show y'all where I had the first date with my lovely wife. So we actually had our first date right over there in a truck stop. Okay, apparently there's some kind of an issue between my flap and T8s. So, I ate salad. No, trying to be healthy. Now we're running down to the Petro and get, get, get me some go-go juice. I, I got a question. So how many of y'all actually watch on TV? Because like, I watch YouTube on TV. I don't watch it on my phone. How many of you watch it on your phone? It's like, I don't know, leave a comment. Tell me which one you do. Because I'm genuinely curious. Y'all wanna see something cool? It's nothing but flat. All the way around. Take you right up here. And then right here, you drop off the cap rock. And then it's flat all along the bottom for a long ways until you get to the mountains. It's kind of pretty though. Some of my favorite views are coming through New Mexico going through the mountains. Now we're currently. Pretty here in the snow, but I don't want to be here during the snow. the cheapest super eight in grants new mexico it's actually really convenient because that's there i gotta go over here track this fly buy me some pants scratch that then i have any my size i'm not short and fat so finding pants that fit is actually kind of hard my grandmother-in-law has a uh, theory that i think mine actually works quite well you see basically when you find something you like buy it in every color so, you can't really buy pants for different color, but you see me wearing the same shirt a lot, it's because I got a whole bunch of them. Once they get stained and ruined, I just bounce. Just throw them away. 
Listen, I'm gonna be honest. The sign and the sign, well, they tell you all you need to know about this place. Um, yeah. So the pool is closed, but it looks really nice. Oh, jacuzzi is closed. The pool still works, but it's locked. This is the breakfast room. You know me, I'm out by three. They got a laundry room. There's cameras everywhere. I'm waiting on them to be like, what are you doing? Here's the elevator. I'm too scared to use it. Why are you too scared to use it, you ask? Could it be behind, because it's behind the closet door? Why, yes. It would be because it's behind the closet door. And it's got this great. And it doesn't matter. If you push a button, you push a button, it's still gonna work. So yeah, no. I'm not using it. I tried to at first, but then I got scared and I got out of it. All right. So, we got us a king bed. I already flipped that for the short. This is a really big mirror, just saying. But you'll get it. Oh, wow, this is comfy. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Got a microwave, fridge, it works. Got this freezer, fridge, works. TV works. You get iron, ironing board, you know what I mean. Table, air conditioner, it's still cooling down after an hour. And then you got a place to hang your clothes. Not much counter space in these, but you got the itchy scratchy towels. Actually, this one's better than this one. And the shower head that is for short people. I'm just curious, what should I do? What should I say if they actually do ask me, where are you videoing? Listen, the towel wasn't bad. However, that shower was freezing cold. Not really freezing, but it was probably like 78 degrees, which was like warm pool water. Not quite, but yeah. I need a hot shower in the morning. I messed up. I don't wear long sleeve shirts, especially not t-shirt kind of stuff. So, yeah, I should have paid attention. Oh. And this is called breaking the law. Don't judge, it's calculated risk, it's four in the morning. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to get a long sleeve shirt. It's got a nippy and flag staff this morning. All right, so Little American Truck Stop and Hotel and Flag Staff. I made a joke and I kind of popped off the lady. I said, hey, are uh, midgets offended to walk in here? And she says, I don't understand. And I said, I, well, you know, I, I just kind of played it off. I'm like, oh, you know, I was just making a joke. And she's like, no, I don't understand. What do you mean? And I was like, well, the, uh, you know, little people, do they not want to come in here? Because it's called Little America. She said, oh no. Uh, uh, we're having our fair at the end of the month and they actually booked up the entire hotel. All little people, all at the end of the month of August in Little America Flagstaff. One of these days I'm gonna stay there. You know, I just love boulders. I don't know why. Maybe I should have been a geologist because I like rocks. But I like big rocks, not small rocks. And I don't care what the rocks are. I just think they look cool. Also kind of scary when you realize at any moment, those can come tumbling down this cliff. Oh, I don't look cool. No, that really, really don't look cool. I mean, it's not on the interstate, so I should be good. Oh yeah, that's a uh, probably about a $75,000 camper and a nice pickup that they're just standing there watching it burn. But they're out of it, as you can see, so everybody's safe. It's actually a camper just like mine. Yay. Sometimes you just need to park and try out some weird stuff. Like the Roadhouse Restaurant and Bakery Bar. I'm in the middle of the Mojave Desert and I needed some tea, so might as well. Good old fashioned truck stop diner, even though it's not a truck stop, it's actually across from a truck stop, but still. All right, now I gotta figure out where I gotta go or where I'm going. I'm weighing my options. Do I stay somewhere half decent or do I get another crap hole? Um, but I'm gonna be there for a long while, so I'm probably a good 14 hours. So I'm way ahead of schedule and they don't open up until six in the morning, so 
I don't know. I'll figure it out. So, one of the problems I always have is parking. Well, there's a La Quinta that's $59 a night. It's right next to an IHOP and a Denny's and, you know, everything should be great. But, um, a lot of these places out here, they're like the old motel deal where you drive under an awning to get into the parking lot. So, I can't just book it because then I may not be able to get into it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go there and then if I can park, great. If not, then there's a comfort down the street with a big parking lot. I should be able to park in, but it's a little bit more. Anybody want a plane? Plenty of them out here. Should be coming around the mountain when she comes. I love how you come out of the hills here. Well, off the mountain in the last little bit. And that's nothing but flat land in the ocean. That rock looks like a walrus. Hello, Bakersfield, California. Yeah, well, she's a motel. All right, so we got us a king. I think he actually upgraded me to a suite. So we got us a fridge. Fridge works. Microwave looks like it works. We got a TV that batteries back in. May work. Hey, it works. That's a nice little desk over there. A little chair here. I can nap in this thing. I might do that. The guy has a really big bumper. You got it. Iron, ironing board. Well, they don't have name brand, but they do have a little trash bag for your clothes. And then in here, you got a little hand towel. Towels that apparently, okay. So you just gotta get your towels out here. Just know that. Then you got the nice soaps. I gotta call my wife to see if she wants me to steal those or not. Hand towel floor mat. Wow, they just did the whole bathroom. Yeah, so. <laughs> There's water under the tub. Not my problem. God, I'm right. This thing is weird. Anywho, so uh, the shower head. I can get under it. Kind of. Weird. And oof. thin, but it'll do. Oh, it's comfy. I'm down for that. So I have successfully walked about, I don't know, two miles, three miles, something like that. But every single place I've been to has fences with bars and spikes, or they have electric bolted fence like up on top. I don't think I'm in the best area, but I ask and they're like, no, nah, it's the entire state. Like, yay. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the elevators don't work. I was cool with going upstairs. And then they said, oh yeah, the elevators don't work. I'm like, I'll be downstairs, that's fine. Also, fun fact, those are for blind people. Well, I actually slept pretty dang good. It's like 1.45, I'm gonna get ready shower and the squishy shower and all that pack and go still got five hours drive they open at six i know the math don't math but as long as they get there and done by seven they get to the airport by eight maybe i can make the 945. <laughs> never know i wonder why the door wasn't shut listen i don't know what to call this the shower did get warm however the towels suck itchy scratchy However, the door is off the hinges. The floor of the shower is like a water bed. The curtain for the shower is halfway in the shower. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the worst part is. It, it all sucks. But that was 60 bucks a night in California. I don't know. I'm actually 30 miles away still. Yeah. Count is having my head in the clouds. Fun fact, those two electric box trucks apparently have been sitting here for a year. They've actually made three loads in a year because they're always broke down because 
something's wrong with them all the time. They don't even know why they have them other than checking a California box. But yeah, he just told me, he's like, man, they're just junk to begin with. Don't understand, don't know, but oh well. So I'm waiting on my Uber, uh, headed to San Francisco. I'm gonna cut this video here. I appreciate you liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. Hey, I don't know if I said this, but Keith, happy birthday. Did I? Yeah. So I appreciate you doing everything you do. And uh, this was kind of an exciting video for a lot of different reasons. Later.